the rock boys in the building. Teflon Dawn. I'm Stephen Hill with JustMyPicks.com. I'm here with our guest host, David Cole. Today, we'll be discussing a couple of the matchups for the week four NFL Just My Picks matchups, the weekly review. Um, our first game we want to touch on, the Detroit Lions against the Dallas Cowboys. The Detroit Lions came back against the Minnesota Vikings. We watched the game together. I want to know what are your thoughts on the Detroit Lions and what are your thoughts about this game when they hit the Dallas next week? I feel like they will come off with the win. Mm -hmm. um, Which team? Uh, Detroit Lions. They mm -hmm. they had a big win last week. Um, Calvin Johnson came up real big toward the end. So I think that's what will happen again next week. It'll rely on Calvin Johnson. Once and again. I agree with that as well. The Detroit Lions defense is better. Offense is better as well. They came back last week against the Minnesota Vikings. Scored 24 points in the second half. Um, the next game we have, Chicago versus Carolina. Carolina coming off their first win of the season versus Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Cam Newton has been playing amazing lately, but this Bears defense has been struggling lately. What do you think about the Carolina versus Chicago game? I think uh, Cam Newton needs to get out of the pocket more, run with the ball a little bit instead of relying, relying on throwing all the time because he has thrown too many picks early in the season already, so he needs to start scrambling with the ball more. Okay, what do you think the prediction? Who's going to win that game? Um, I think uh, Carolina will come out mm -hmm. big because they'll have to have show something to get into a playoff spot. Okay, that's cool. I think that the Chicago Bears will be winning this game on this weekend. I feel like the Bears' defense has something to prove. They were on a two-game losing streak. Um, they haven't been the same since they played New Orleans. Um, next up, we have the New Orleans Saints versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Houston Texans, who were currently undefeated last week. Um, and it, it, it's going to come down to who can run the ball better in this game, I think. Because Drew Brees proven he's done the passing thing. They just have to make sure they keep the ground balance versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Who do you have in that game? I would have Jacksonville because of them losing against Houston Texans last week. So I think they will be able to not come off this bandwagon, so I think Jackson will, will win this game. And then up next, we have the Buffalo Bills, who beat the undefeated Patriots and are atop the AFC East this week, taking on Cincinnati. Let me hear your thoughts on that game. The Cincinnati game, um, I think... Uh, Cincinnati versus Buffalo. Um, I think Buffalo will come off the win on that one because they had a humongous win against New England last week. Okay, my prediction is the Buffalo Bills will win also. Last week, they got the monkey off their back, beating the New England Patriots, the 15-game monkey. They came out and played well. The offense came out and played well. The defense didn't really play well, but they withstood the Patriots' offensive attack. I have Cincinnati losing this game big time in this game. I feel like the Buffalo Bills are going to be too much for the Cincinnati Bengals in every area, special teams, offense, and defense. I look for that to be big. Steve Slate and Fitzpatrick to go run wild on in that game and Fred Jackson. Next up on the slate, we have the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. Last week, Mike Vick broke his hand in another Dream Team Eagles lost in Philadelphia versus the Giants. Now they take on the San Francisco 49ers. They take them on in Philly. Okay, I don't, I don't know yet if Mike Vick will be playing. It's his non-throwing hand that's broke. What is your prediction if Mike Vick plays this Sunday? They probably will lose that game because Michael Vick is not, will not be 100% if they do starting. Um, if, and if they do, they need to protect him as best as they can because last week they didn't do so well. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with that prediction as well. They will lose if Mike Vick isn't protected in the pocket. But the most important thing is, if he comes back, how will he withstand being hit with that broken hand? And will it affect him getting snaps from under center? Will they have to go to the Wildcat formation? Will they heavily rely on McCoy even more? Um, I picked the Philadelphia Eagles to win this game and stop a two-game losing streak. On the next game, we got Minnesota Vikings versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Both these teams are winless this season, 0-3 apiece. What are your predictions for this game? I see Kansas City coming out big because that they'll need to prove something. Um, 
Minnesota has not done so well this season. Um, they lost to the Lions. Um, Donovan McNabb is not all that great. If it was up to me, I'd put in Christian Palmer. Um, they just need to stay on the ground more, and if they want to throw it, put in Christian Palmer. Okay, I disagree with that. I think Kansas City doesn't have what it takes to win. I feel like Kansas City is at a place right now. They lost Jamal Charles. They don't know what their identity is. You're a Vikings fan. I believe in the Vikings. I think Donovan McNabb is not the problem. It's the defense. Last week, they were up 21-7. to The defense lost the game. Adrian Peterson is the best running back in the league. They have the best running back in the league. They should rely on that a lot more and not put the ball in Donovan McNabb's hands. The next game we have is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, who won a nail-biter versus the Colts, versus the Houston Texans, who lost to the Saints. Again, we watched the game late without Peyton Manning. The Colts, they have they were in the game close, but they just lost it. What do you think the game outcome is going to be versus Pittsburgh versus Houston Texans? I think Pittsburgh will win that game very big. Um, Houston got by real close. Um, so I think Pittsburgh will have a chance to redeem themselves from last week's game. Um, so they'll win big again next next week. Okay, I I agree with that. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are too sound on defense to get caught up slipping at the Houston Texans' expense. I think that they have a dominant team. They're healthy right now, and it's showing. They they had a couple miscues last week against the Colts, but all those things can be fixed with practice. Next up, we have the Atlanta Falcons versus the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks beat the Cardinals last week, and the Atlanta Falcons lost to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Falcons need to find their identity. The Falcons, at this point in time, don't know if they want to pass or throw. They have too many weapons. They need to stick to the ground game and get Michael Turner into the game and then get those receivers in. I feel like Atlanta's going to blow the Seattle Seahawks out. What do you feel? I feel as the um, Atlanta Falcons will blow out the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Travaris Jackson... Um, I really don't think he's a good fit for Seattle, um, even though they do have another former Viking on that team. I just don't think he has all the weapons it takes to beat the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. I agree with that as well. The New York Giants, the G-Men, go into Arizona, and they play the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals have one win on the season. They look lackluster. The only thing that attracts me to Arizona is Larry Fitzgerald. I don't know anything else that, that makes me want to pick them, but I'm leaning towards the Arizona Cardinals to win this game for some reason. I feel like Fitzgerald will make a difference. He'll energize that team. to have them ready to play. Coach Wizenhunt, the Arizona Cardinals, that's a young team. With Kevin Cobb at quarterback, what do you feel like the game's going to be like? I, I agree with you on that. Um, they have a fast defense. Their defense is solid. So, it will rely on their defense to win this game. Okay. The next game we're going to is New England Patriots at the Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders last week beat up on the New York Jets, which broke up their undefeated streak. And the Bills beat the Patriots last week. I think the Pats will come out prepared. They will not be slow. They will not start slow. They will put their foot on the gas for four quarters straight. Bill Belichick. He is not a coach that loses two, three, four games in a row. I feel like Oakland, yes, they did get a good win out, but that's not going to happen this week. I feel like they'll be fired up to play. What are your predictions? Um, I feel that New England needs to come out and show themselves. Peyton Manning needs to stay in the pocket, get his feet set to throw instead of throwing off his back foot. Because um, last week he threw too many interceptions. Um, I just feel that if they would run the ball and throw less more that, that they'll get this game. Okay, next up we have the New York Jets at the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens laid a whipping on to the Rams last week, 37-7. to The Jets the, the, the Jets were humbled by the Raiders last week. The run game didn't really get started. They turned the ball over three times. It wasn't really a typical New York Jets game. They got burnt on defense. I'm feeling like they have to bounce back, but the Baltimore Ravens, when Joe Flacco plays like the Pro Bowl performance he did in the first game, in the third game, 
that versus the Rams, there's nothing you can do to stop it. They have a deep threat um, in, in, in Anquan Bolden. They have a running back in Ray Rice. They have the defense that's dominant. It's just too many things. Sanchez, he's good one week, bad one week. Damian Tomlinson's on his last leg. Santonio San Holmes and Plexico, they're good receivers, but they're not cutting it for me. I'm not feeling the Jets in this game. I think that the Baltimore Ravens will put another loss on the New York Jets, and they'll push forward into the my power rankings as number two again. It's hard for me to, to, to see the Jets beating the Baltimore Ravens when they're playing like a wild machine. What are your predictions? Uh, I feel that Baltimore will come out with this win. Um, they're, like you said, their defense is too big. Um, I think uh, he will be on his back most most of the game. Um, there'll be interceptions, fumble, so it'll just be a game that's dominant. Okay. In our last game of the week, Indianapolis Colts winless without Peyton Manning take on the young Tampa Bay Bucks. Tampa Bay Bucks went into last week's game. They handled the Atlanta Falcons. Let's face it. They took away the run game and made them play catch-up most of the game. It didn't work. They, they were inaccurate on passes. Julio Jones got his first 100-yard game, but they ended up losing because the run game never got started. I like the Bucks in this game, but that game last week against the Steelers, that showed me when Curtis Painter is in the game, the game goes a little faster, goes a little smoother. He has a little more timing. I'm looking for an Indianapolis Colts win, but my heart's saying Tampa Bay, so I'm going to go with the Young Bucks, LeGarrette Blunt. Josh Freeman at quarterback, Kellen Winslow at tight end, Mike Williams at receiver. The defense is young, key to lead. It's, it's so many factors that want me to go with Tampa Bay, and I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. I uh, will agree with you on that one once again. Um, I feel that as Kerry Collins is too old, um, and they have one of the best run defenses um, they will keep it on the ground too much because Kerry Collins is not capable of throwing down the field as the protection is just not there the backup quarterback should come in to play for them okay this has been my guest host David Cole and this has been Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com thank you very much check out our next week uploads and our articles uh, it's been a pleasure, stephenhill.com.